Hey guys, today I'm going to be ranking the zodiac signs according to my personal experience with them. Before I get into the video, I just want to say that I know the sun sign does not define your personality entirely. Um, I'm just going based off people's sun signs that I know and how I interact with them. Um, I'd also like to mention that I asked a bunch of people who their least favorite and their favorite sign was. So I think I got about like a hundred answers or so. The least favorite, which I feel like won't be a surprise, is Gemini. Um, yeah. And then the favorite was actually tied. It was between Gemini, Cancer, and Libra. So I was like, wow, these gems. You guys really, like, people have a love-hate relationship with you guys. But I feel like that's fair. That's usually what I hear. So let's get into the ranking. How you living? So coming in 12th, <laughs> I feel like this is expected, but it's Gemini. Um, I've never had a good experience with a Gemini, unfortunately. Um, that doesn't mean that I write off Geminis, but it just somehow always ends up being a bad experience. I feel like Geminis are very self-centered and two-faced, like kind of the, like what people say about Leos is what's actually true about Geminis. So I feel like Leos sometimes get a bad rap for the Geminis and it's not fair because Geminis are trash. So yeah, number 11. And this list was really hard to make, uh, but number 11 would have to be Scorpios. That's it, need I say more? I mean, like if you have a Scorpio in your life, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I think there's only one Scorpio in my life who I love and that is my brother-in-law, Jeff. Um, <laughs> besides that, we're good off y'all. I feel like first I should say why I don't like them. I was really quick to write that off. But um, Scorpios are very set in their ways, um, but like very toxic in the sense that like when someone calls them out on things that they do, which is very popular amongst water signs, when someone calls them out on the things that they do, they're very like, this is who I am, it's not gonna change. And I feel like as an adult, like grow up. Scorpios need to grow up. Also Scorp Scorpios are very, <laughs> Like over the over, I can't even speak. I'm scared of the Scorpios and Gemini's that are gonna come in my comments. But Scorpios are like overly confident in themselves, and they're also very like narcissistic. Um, and I don't like that. Number ten, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, Aquariuses, Aquarians, whichever y'all go by. Like I just, mm, I don't know. I feel like you guys talk too much. And it's annoying, like, shut up. And you're weird, which I like. I love a good weird Aquarian. But like, I don't know, you guys say so much unnecessary stuff and it's like, no one wants to hear that. And it's like, I don't know. Just your personalities are very like off-putting and you don't allow anyone to like come near you, which is fine. I understand having like your walls up and everything, but like, Ugh, y'all are just losers. I don't like Aquariuses. Number nine is Aries, simply because like, <sighs> Aries are very like, they're just kind of like there. Like they're just like angry and there. Like, <laughs> why are they always angry? And like, pa very passionate. Um, Aries are some of the most passionate people I've kn I know, but they're just angry. It's so hard for Aries to just be positive and be kind. Um, I know I know a few Aries who are really positive and kind and I love them. But majority, like I just don't want them around me. Number eight is Cancer. <laughs> the most forgettable sign. Um, that's why you guys are number eight. Um, cancers are fun if you can remember the fun you've had with them. Like it's very like, oh yeah, I think a Cancer was there. And it's never, I don't know, I have a lot of cancers in my life and I can never recall like memories with them. It takes me a second to be like, oh yeah, and then we did this. Like y'all are just so like mundane and you know, forgettable. So number seven on my list is Taurus. And the reason that they're just kind of in the middle is just because I feel like they're on both ends of the spectrum. Like you either have like really high energy and motivated and positive Taurus or, cause I don't know what the plural of Taurus is. Um, <laughs> or you have a Taurus who's like lazy, hates the world, never shuts up. Like that is like the constant. And every time that you find like a good evolved Taurus, you end up 
meeting another tourist who's super lazy and just super annoying. Um, so yeah, just not for me. Number six, none other than my sun sign, Pisces. <laughs> I love y'all. I know some of y'all are probably like, I can't believe she put us this low. Hi, Key. Look, look at me. Look at me. You are toxic and you're exhausting. And I mean, okay, if you're an evolved Pisces, you can like skip over this because this isn't about you, sweetie. But if you're unevolved, if you gossip nonstop, if you are constantly negative, if you are just mean, then yeah, it's not like people don't like you. And that's exactly why. Um, and you can cry about it all you want, but that's who you are as a person. And that's why you deal with the things that you do. But um, to my evolved Pisces babies, love you. Number five, and I was shocked that this was so high on my list because if you know me, if you have me on any social media, this is the number one sign that I talk about. Number one, absolutely number one. And it is Leo. <laughs> and Leos are so hard to deal with because they are so headstrong and they are so overly confident and exhausting. But at the same time, no one is gonna hype you up like a Leo. No one is gonna make you feel as good about yourself like Leos do, and I'll give them that. That's why they're so high on the list, because honestly, I was thinking about it, and I thought they were gonna be a lot lower. And I looked at the final list and I was like, hmm, okay. So I'll give you Leos that. But it's just exhausting, because it feels like every Leo situation goes like this. Why are you dressed like that? Your question should be, why are you dressed like that? Because we're staying here. Yeah, I know we're staying here, but like someone could see you and like this is embarrassing. Nobody's gonna see. We're no, staying I here. know, but like it's embarrassing we're for, staying me. Here, for me to see here inside. So that's why you're only at number five. Number four goes to Libra. Um, I love my Libras. And you guys, you know, you're pretty good. You're pretty positive, pretty fun. Um, but I don't know. There's only like one really good Libra in my life. Besides that, every other Libra has been kind of like, eh, like sketchy, but fun, but sketchy. Number three is my moon sign, Sagittarius. I love my sags. Um, my grandmother was a sag. Um, you guys are cool. I don't know, definitely my favorite fire sign. Definitely my favorite sign in my chart, hands down. Um, but I don't know, just not cool enough to be like one or two. <laughs> Two is Virgo. Um, this isn't like me saying that just to say it. I feel like Virgos get a bad rap for how strict they are with themselves and how strict they are with their relationships. But if you think about it, if you're someone who prides themselves on um, putting yourself in a routine, putting yourself on a schedule, and then someone comes and tries to mess that up, of course you don't want them in your life. So I totally get why Virgos are so quick to shut people off. Um, and just kind of keep their routine, keep the people that they know and love in their lives. And I respect it. I've never had a problem with a Virgo that I haven't, you know, incited myself. So you guys get the number two spot. The only thing I would say is that you guys should just learn to be a bit more aware of other people's feelings. I understand being upfront and telling people what they need to hear, but maybe we just say it in a different way because y'all are rude. And number one goes to the sign that I'd never think anything about almost as forgettable and boring as a cancer capricorn i'm giving you guys the number one slot and you know why because i don't even i can't remember anyone who's a capricorn i can't even remember when the capricorn dates are i don't even know what element y'all are y'all are so forgettable so out of the way so out, and i love it because i love being left alone so if you're a Capricorn right now, please let me know. I think my cousin is, uh, <laughs> but it's like, you know how good you gotta be for me to just be able to be like, who's a Capricorn? You know, like you guys are so like boring <laughs> that it's almost fantastic. You're so boring that it's like, I can't even remember a problem with you. I can't even remember a good thing with you either. Um, but that's not the point of this. The point is that you guys are doing what you do best and that's staying out of the way. And I respect that. So, um, that's my sign ranking. Thanks for watching.